Hi guys, I um, can't wait for our session. Um, yeah, let's get started. Today, um, the focus is just a little bit of de-stressing. So we'll work through some breathing techniques. We'll work through um, that love little face massage we do once in a while. And we'll spend some time just working on stretches and movement that help us de-stress. Hopefully so you can feel really light and ready to take on um, the rest of the week. So yeah, with that said, find your comfy space, find um, your um, like most favorite pose to relax um, in potentially your Shavasana on your back and we'll begin. So yeah, hey. So have a drink if you've got one, a little cup of tea or a water, always nice to have something, especially when the weather's a bit warmer. Just stay hydrated as we move. If you've chosen to go on your back, lovely. Just relax the shoulders down and choose what suits you in terms of your lower back. So if you've got any pain or strain, just take a little listen to that. Maybe wiggle the feet wider and drop the knees in. Or if not, extend the legs out. And maybe turn the feet wider. And where you've got this space in your house especially, wiggle them wider and maybe take the arms a little bit out too. Once you feel comfortable, look up with the neck, draw the chin in towards the chest and wiggle the shoulders down slightly. And remember, wherever you are, just take some time to relax. Equally, if on your back feels too much today, you can just sit upright, maybe sit up on a pillow and just try and find a nice tall spine. But you just to take a little moment to close the eyes. 
there's any last movement you want to get out of the body or anything that feels good to you, just take that little wiggle, take whatever last movement so that you can start the class with a little place of stillness. Breathing in nice and slow. And breathing out a little slower. Breathing in a little slower. And breathing out even slower. Just trying to lengthen the inhalation, mouth closed. And same with the exhalation. Send the breath down the back of the throat. Just follow it as it moves down the ribs to the belly. You can start to feel the inflation of the chest as we breathe in. And slowly exhale. Continue to take that lovely cyclical pattern, inhaling. Sometimes I like to imagine a color breathing in. We imagine like a green or pink or purple. That lovely air swells in through the nostrils. As we get to the top of the breath, maybe take a little hold, swirling around, clearing the mind. And as we exhale, sending that lovely nourishing breath down the body. Almost imagining as we exhale next time that you're sending the breath all the way down to nourish every cell right down to the toes. Joining me maybe in that same pattern, this slight hold at the top, breathing in. Little hold at the top, swirling around, clearing the mind. And as we exhale, send all that nourishment, that oxygen down. Maybe the breath, imagining it moves through to the toes. Inhaling so slow, maybe matching that color if it works. Little hold, a little swirl, cleaning, cleansing, letting go of any thoughts and worries today and exhaling. And taking one more at your own pace, whatever feels good to you in terms of the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Notice if you've taken any sort of movement or created any sort of tense feelings in the neck and the shoulders through the breath and just try and relax the shoulders down further, finding length, drawing the chin in. I invite you today to give yourself permission to de-stress. I want you almost to imagine that right now all that heaviness is kind of melting away, almost as if it's peeling off or melting and drifting. I want you to imagine yourself on the mat just feeling a little bit lighter. Maybe imagine the body feels light almost to the point where you could you can begin to lift or levitate from the floor. That sense of lightness welcoming it in from head to toe, to mind to heart. Allowing yourself to lift, feel light and release and let go of anything not serving you. This next hour is just for you to breathe and move and stretch and to truly just get lost in a little hour of self-care. Listen to your body, listen to your mind, whatever it is you need, whatever it is you came to the mat for, Set a little intention or a little wish. And move through the practice with that in mind. Inhaling. And slowly exhaling. 
invite you just to stay there for an extra little moment. Allowing ourselves to soften and settle. Start with movement, just pointing and flexing one foot and then the other. Just a little movement. See if you can really notice, mindfully you feel the toes. Pointing and flexing. Okay, just feeling the little clicks. Just waking up the feet or letting go of the day whenever you choose to play this video. Whatever it is your feet need, just try and move, pointing and flexing, feeling that lovely connection, taking time out to give your body what it needs. Three. Breathing in and out, two. Down the good. Release the feet and just let them soften again. I invite you to take the hands, bring them into a nice fist, and just roll those wrists. Take a little time. Slowly, slowly again into those joints. Breathing in. And breathing out for three. Two and one. Lovely. And slowly roll them and relax down alongside the body. We've got it. Inhaling and exhaling. Lovely. And then bend the knees if you've got the legs extended, bring the feet down onto the mat. Good. We're going to leave. The left foot on the floor, draw the right knee in. We're just going to take a few circles here with that knee. A little deep stretch, just getting into the joints. Feeling that lovely, lovely little movement. Check in. How are you today? How's the body? How's the mind? Nice. Taking the circles as big or as little as you like. Four, three, nice, slow, deep breaths, two, and one, inhale, draw the knee up, big squeeze, relax the shoulders, and allow the tailbone to soften down towards the mouth, and just take a little moment here to rest, three, two, and one, bringing the foot down, switching sides, good, just finding some circles, getting that Snow meal fluid going, finding that lovely work in the hips. Oh, dreamy, right? Check it in. Oh, feels good to move today. Four. Nice work. Three. Two. Nice circles here. And last big circle on that side, slowly drawing it in. And foot down onto the floor, switching sides. Let's draw that right knee in, dropping the shoulders down. We're going to take a little half of a happy baby just to get a little further into the hips. So flex the heel. You just want to relax here, you can. Or you can slowly lift the foot up a little further towards the ceiling. What we want to do then is take the knee a little wider, almost towards the side of the body, maybe even the armpit, that direction, and just let it hang out. Now from here, if that feels enough, if you're getting a stretch in the hip, keep it there. Otherwise, walk the hand a little lower and work to draw the knee out. Now what I want you to notice though, is very common that we drop the knee, but we're lifting into that left hip. So do be a favor use the left hand, push down on that left hip, and then work the knee a little wider. So you can grab the lower part of the leg, the outer edge of the foot, whatever it is that you like. Bringing the head to center and just breathing. Inhale. And as we exhale, soften in the forehead, relax the space between the eyebrows. Four, three, lovely, two. Notice if that hip's creeping up, mine always does. And one, now option to stay here, or you can extend the left leg if you want just a little extra depth. But again, both are great. Any expression of the pose that feels good to you is perfect. All right, breathing in. 
and breathing out. Dropping the shoulders down, finding that lovely little edge of the stretch for you. For two and one, beautiful. Slowly bring the hands to the lower part of the leg, roll the ankles and bring that knee in. Good, we're gonna cross it slightly over the body, a little bit of a twist, see if you can feel that little stretch in the back, a little bit more into the joints. And then inhale, we draw it out. So we're gonna use the right hand to draw the knee out, inhale. And as we exhale, draw the knee across as far as feels comfortable to you. You can use the left hand if you like. Good, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Three. Two. And lastly, we're going to play with a little supine twist. We're going to roll the whole body over towards the left hand side. And just trust yourself if you can't quite see the camera. Kind of in that little bit of a fetal position, you've got the knee up. Now, if that feels enough, stay. So you want to kind of work on a little bit more depth in the twist. Take that right shoulder, roll it up towards the ears, and then drop the shoulder back. Almost as if you're opening the chest up towards the ceiling. And that's great. You can let the hand rest on the ribs, on the hip, and just try and draw that right elbow out. Inhaling. Feel the belly compress. Feel it kind of expand and drop. You feel that lovely work as we breathe to the belly in the twist. Now, if you want a little extra, you can take the hands in a T position and possibly work to wiggle the shoulder blades a little more flat. Now that's only if that body feels like you're super supple in a twist, take it as you need it. Absolutely fine if you're over here. Just breathe, breath to belly, working inwards. That's the magic for four. Nice, slow, deep breath. Nice three. Inhale and exhale. Oh, beautiful. Two. And one. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Using the right hand, bring it back over. Grab that knee, push the left hand and arm into the mat. It'll help you roll over. Beautiful. Lovely little twist there. Let's bring the foot down. Just take any little movement to square the hips and bring your left knee in. Awesome. Let's draw it in towards the chest. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to relax the tailbone down, finding that lovely stretch in the hip. We're going to find a little bit of a happy baby here. Breathing in, seeing if you can lift the foot, maybe flex the heel and bring the knee a little wider. That's perfect. You can stay here or you can work the hand up to the lower part of the leg, the ankle or the outer edge of the foot, and see if that knee can come a little further out. Again, you're trying to draw it to the outside of the kind of left side body, the arm foot type space. And notice here, look, my hip is lifting. I'm going to use my right hand to draw that back. Good. Working to get that knee a little further, finding that lovely little edge of the stretch. Remember, when we work into the hip joint, definitely is a healthy release. Sometimes people find it an emotional release. There's many different experiences in yoga for each of us, but. I personally do feel that sense of your ability, that real depth. So work through, breathe, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bringing the hand a little lower, rotate that ankle. Good. We're gonna hold the pose again, finding either the other edge of the ankle, the lower leg, with the option to extend and stay. So you can extend that right leg out drawing the left knee wide. Just notice if one side feels better than the other today, it normally does. Four. Breathing in and out. Three. Trying to work the shoulders down, relaxing the face. Two. And one. Beautiful. Slowly drawing the knee in. And a little squeeze. We're going to take our little side to side movement. Inhale, opening the knee towards the right. And exhale, slowly bring it across. Use your right hand and roll a little if that feels good. Inhale. 
Beautiful. Exhale, draw your knee across. Inhale, find that breath. All about slowing the breath down, slowing the body. Trying to let stress out with every stretch, every exhalation. Good. Three, two, and one. Let's try a little side twist on this side. Drawing the knee across and slowly rolling over. Remember, if you didn't take the extension of the leg, it's the same movement, just the knee is bent. It is all good. So finding that stretch, you can stay here, relaxing, breathing in, finding that lovely little breath to the belly, working all those organs. If you want a little extra, we rotate that left shoulder up and we're gonna just drop it back. So draw the elbow down and rest the hand on the ribs, the hips, wherever feels good. Inhale, option to even wriggle those shoulders a little further if you like. So find where it feels good to you. And your final option, if you do have that lovely little bit of extra space, you can extend the arms out in a T position, inhaling, maybe again, trying to work to get the shoulders down. It's different each day. Definitely found this one much easier before I had my kids. <laughs> The body changes all the time. And I think the magic of yoga is we just take time to get to know it. At every stage, every day, every chapter of our lives, we move. Every week, we meet ourselves on the mat. I, I truly think you're giving yourself a little gift. Maybe that's me just being cheesy. <laughs> but I love it. Inhale. Thank you so much for meeting me each week. Deep breath to the belly. Three. Nice, slow, deep breath. Two. And the last one. One. This stretch always makes me want to yawn or something. It feels like, you know, that goodness. Slowly bringing the hand over, using it to grab the knee, push it to the back of the right hand onto the floor to rotate back. You can wiggle and take any left movement to get that back nice and straight, drawing the knee in and slowly bring the foot down. You've got it, bringing both knees in. We're gonna bring both in towards the chest, giving yourself that little bit of a hug. Good, let's take our side to side movement. Heads can rock if that feels good. Take three, inhale and exhale, two and one. Lovely. Coming back to center, we're going to bring the toes to touch. I'm going to take the knees in, out, and nice and wide. See if you can find that connection to the lower back. So just a lovely extension into the hips and starting to connect with the core. Good. Nice big circles as you draw the knees out for three, for two, and the last one for one. And we're going to take our circles in the opposite direction this time. We're going to draw the knees out, fish wide, and then draw them in and squeeze. Good. Out, so you can be big or small. You can keep the toes stretching great if not, no worries. Just little guidance as we move, keeping that connection for five. Nice one. Four. Three, I love a little de stress. Two, and one. Inhale and exhale. The lovely knees in. I definitely don't think we could do a, a de stress class without a little happy baby. I just think that that releases so much. Um, so healthy, so much research. If you ever Google like the impact of happy babies, there's so much comes up or like things that it can do for the body. So both knees wide, option to stay here, flex the heels. If you like all legs, I can feel that right there. Stay perfect little kind of intro to happy baby. If the feet feel comfortable coming up like we did before, knees dropping down further towards the armpits, great. You can stay there and breathe and just keep the legs lifted or option to walk the hands and use them to support and drawing the knees a little wider. 
Good. We're trying to find that lovely little stretch in the hips. If the tailbone's lifting, see if you can push the tailbone down and work the knees wide. Also option to grab the outer edges of the feet. And when you're ready, maybe take a little rock. Draw the chin in, relax the neck, softening in the forehead. Maybe move the jaw side to side as well, releasing the tension there for five. Inhale and exhale. Four. Three. Two. And then one, finding some stillness here. So that little bit of stretch, a little bit of push. If you want it, you can stay and just take it a little bit more relaxed or work both shoulder blades down, work both knees wide, work the tailbone towards the mat and feel maybe that little discomfort, breathing in and breathing out. Oh, let go and release of anything not serving you. Inhale. And exhale, definitely feeling it today. Inhale. And exhale. Love you, let's release, bring the knees in here, the hands and both feet come to the mat. You've got it, breathing and let's reach the arms up over the head, lifting slightly in the pelvis if you wanna take a little bit of a back bend here, inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower the spine down and bring the hands up alongside the body. Good. We're going to take our little mini bridges. Inhale, reaching the arms up, lifting the pelvis, chin to chest, and slowly coming down. Good. Inhale, reaching up. And slowly bringing it down. Again, working at your own pace, keep lifting. If the arms feel too much, just keep them alongside the body. Otherwise, keep that little bit. Starting to get a little stretch in the spine, stretch in the neck. Good. Just thinking the whole body, getting that really nice, almost like a de-stress. Sometimes I imagine like um, the idea of de-stressing the body. It's just kind of like wringing out a cloth that feels like saturated and heavy or a sponge that's like just soaking or just taking time in mind and body to kind of just bring it out, feel that little bit of lightness. Yeah, last big inhale. Lifting with the option to fold and stay if that feels good. Arms above the head if you like, or alongside the body for so three, two, and one. Stay, maybe lifting the heels and dropping them. Keep the pelvis lifting, that's just an option, or come back down to the floor. But maybe get that lovely stretch in the ankles for three, two and one you got it heels down lower back peeling down and the hands coming up reaching above the body hold them above reaching towards the ceiling interlace the fingers let's get our lovely little wrist stretch in we do it quite often i do this one every day just trying to keep that movement there's an old phrase of like if we don't keep moving it then we'll lose some of that movement so yeah, the wrists, we do so much. I think it's like a little gift, a little stretch, just a little roll of that wrist. Take it any time you like. you sitting at a desk or busy running around after grandchildren or just need a little bit of time to release. This is such a good one. Keep it going for three. And if you do have any like level of arthritis or soreness there, it's still good to keep it moving even if it's at a much slower pace. Two and one. Separate the hands, open and close. You've got it, three, two, and one. And a nice roll of the wrist to bring the hands down. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. You've got it. We're going to wiggle the feet in towards each other and roll over towards the right hand side. Nice little warm up there for us today. Inhale, pushing the body up to a nice upright position on the mat. Good. Grab a little drink if you've got it. Cheers, team. Mm. Oh, thank you. Nothing better than. 
having other people sharing in something that that feels so good right um yeah thanks for sharing yoga with me I just feel so grateful that every week there's you know somebody that either logs in or you're there on zoom so I'm so grateful thank you for sticking with me many of you for many years um I don't know if I say it often enough but yeah thank you just feeling lots of gratitude that this practice is something that you can do with people who become friends and family so amazing when you're ready we're going to find a little tabletop we're just going to move and flow again in terms of de-stress it is a little bit of work in the hips but just full body really finding a really nice stretch through the knees so that their hip distance inhale as we exhale swing down into child's pose arms extended drop the shoulder down go take the bicep out inhale feel the body up Arch the back into cap, chin to chest. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and down, lifting in the chest. And finding that lovely, lovely stretch here at the spine. Inhale. As we exhale, draw in from the core, find your flat back. Good. Inhale and extend the left leg today to start. Bend the knee, draw in, knee towards the nose, little arch. Inhale, extend. You've got it. Second one, just to get that low little work happening. Draw in from the core. Inhale, extend. We're going to take our step forward. Big step forward. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle our back foot. So the right foot is going to come towards the left-hand side. I want you to imagine that the front foot, so the left toes are facing forward. Think a warrior two, and we're going to come up into a warrior two on the knee. So you've got that ankles roughly kind of coming in towards like the knee crease and the hip is open. Good, reaching the arms out, inhale. Then we're gonna tuck that floating ribbon, feel strong in the core. Drop the shoulders down and check those middle fingers, feeling nice and lifted. I'm drawing up nice and tall from the top of the head. Relax the face, breathing in. And as we exhale, nice little sink as far as feels comfortable. So it can be a little bit shorter or a little bit deeper to get a little more in the hip. Again, we don't want to dip the tailbone, squeeze and tuck under, in from the core. Inhale, straighten. Good. Really nice one to get in to that lovely psoas muscle, the hip joint. Again, squeezing and tucking under to get the depth of the stretch. Sinking as far as feels comfortable to you. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, reaching. Good option to stay here, or you can bend the elbow, taking a little side angle pose from the knee. Maybe reaching up if you want, drop the shoulders down. But again, noticing the tailbone sticking out. We want to squeeze, tuck it under, sink and lift. Three, two, and one. Inhale, straightening it out. You've got it. We're going to wiggle. We're going to turn. That right foot out, we're going to slowly wiggle that left foot over, good, so that it's in front, it's still extended, and then what we're going to do is we're going to straighten that front leg out and sink the hips back slightly. So what I want you to think when you do this is drawing that left hip back. You see that right hip forward, left hip back, and we start, you can lift the toes and feel that lovely stretch in the back of that left leg. Inhale. So we're just going to sink forward. And as we exhale, slowly sink back. Option to lift and flex the foot if you like. Drawing that heel back. Nice little hamstring work. Good. Inhale. And exhale, sinking forward. Maybe lifting in the chest. Maybe reaching the arms out this time. Drop the shoulders down. Three, two, and one. Little back bend. Hands come on either side of that front foot. We wiggle it back. Nice. Bringing the knees hip distance, sinking down to your child pose. Take it nice and relax this time, wherever it feels comfortable. Remember, head on. You can either have them on the hands that are stacked, on fits, the arms forward. Just allow everything to soften. Rock the forehead side to side, getting any stress or tension out of the face. Four, three, two. And one, working from the other side. Inhale. And as we exhale, we'll peel the body up into cat. Draw the chin in. Find that lovely arch. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up. 
Bringing the tailbone towards the sky, drop the shoulders down. Breathing in, breathing out in your cow. Inhale. As we exhale, draw in from your core, find your nice flat back. You've got it. Extend the right leg and draw the knee in towards the nose. Inhale, extend. Good, nice little extension. Just see, feel how good that feels. Just extend however feels good. Draw in from the core. And we're going to take our lovely step forward. Inhale, slowly take a big step forward with that left foot. And then we're going to slowly wiggle. So I'll show you from the back angle. We're going to wiggle that left foot back. And we're slowly going to come up so that we have that warrior two pose. So when we do that, make sure that you have the right foot is facing the short edge. The left knee is facing forward. You've got enough of a gap that when you bend the knee, the knee runs over top of the ankle and you find that lovely stretch. You've got it. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Inhale, drop the shoulders down. And remember, we don't want the tailbone tucking, uh, dipping out. We want to tuck the tailbone under, squeeze into the glutes, move the pelvis forward and draw the shoulders down. Good. In from the core, inhale. Remember, length from the head, feeling strong in the center, and all we do is we sink. We're not reaching, we're just sinking into that knee. Good, keeping that tuck in the tailbone, lifting it up. Beautiful, everyone. Inhale, nice little sink. So again, feeling strong in the center, sinking, finding the work in the hip, and if the tailbone's dipping out, tuck it under and feel that little bit more depth in the hip. Inhale, extend. You've got it, and sink. Option for your side angle from the knee, bringing the elbow down, maybe reaching up, draw the shoulders down. Now, if you want to really soften, release into that knee, allow yourself to sink, squeeze into the glutes. Three, two, and one. Inhale, swing the arms out. Good. We're going to slowly come back to that forward facing, the short edge of the mat. We're going to wiggle the Left foot back, wiggling the right foot over so that the knees and the foot are hip distance apart again. Good. And we're going to bring the hands with the fingertips on either side of that leg and slowly sink back. This time we're drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. Ooh, there's that lovely little stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, little sink forward. You can lift in the chest if you like here. Fingertips lifting or on the mat. Inhale. Exhale, let's sink back. So option to lift the toes. You can flex the foot. Just work to feel that lovely little stretch in the back of the leg however you need it today. Relax the forehead. I definitely feel a little tension there when I'm releasing all oh, those little tight hamstrings. Inhale, sinking forward. This time, option to reach the arms up, maybe above the head. Inhale, reaching and sinking. Just enjoying that stretch. Drop the shoulders down. I love this one. Heart open, chest open. Beautiful. Relax the face. Inhale, slowly fold down. Hands on opposite side of that foot, wiggling the foot back. This time, take the knees really wide. Big toes to touch, sinking down. Oh, find that lovely stretch. You know, the cheek on the floor. Cheek on the kind of hands, wherever feels good to you. Just allow yourself to sink into the hips and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, enjoying the, the depth, the breath, the time to let gravity support you, the pose to come to you. One you could do at home if you think, I just need a little release, just get into wide like a child's pose and just stay. It's a lovely little place to breathe. Nice job, guys. Inhale, we're going to push the body up, slowly lifting the tailbone and bringing the knees in. <laughs> I love it. Inhale and exhale, finding your tabletop. Good. We're going to tuck the toes, arch the back into cat and begin to lift up and share a downward dog. Starting with the knees bent, maybe walk those heels. The neck needs a little movement. Take it. So take that first downward dog. You know the pose. 
some people's favorites like Marmite, <laughs> this one. So it's definitely grown on me over time. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly look between the thumbs. You can step or hop, bringing the feet forward, the hands to match the feet and fall down. Just allow everything to soften and hang. Relax the face. Inhale, little halfway lift. So you can either bring the fingertips forward or bring the hands up, whatever feels best. I've done a little work in the hamstrings there, bending the knees, taking your time to come all the way up to a nice standing position, palms together. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, and come to heart center. Breathing in with me and exhaling through the mouth. Beautiful. I grab a quick drink. I'm just going to change the angle of my camera. You can don't have a yoga teacher with their head cut off. Beautiful. Cheers. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So coming to the front of the mat, we're just going to take a little moment to just roll the shoulders. Good. Big circles. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Little back bend. Exhale, hinge at the hips, reach forward, and the knees fall down. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Bend the knees, just scoop the, all that lovely light energy up, reaching. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching it up, holding forward, maybe holding a little longer here today, drawing in from the core, that love little time to reset the hamstrings, bend the knees, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend, scooping up, reaching the hands up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Lovely, big smile, inhale, reaching it up. And exhale, forward fold, and the knees. Good. Halfway lift. And from here, we're going to bring the hands forward. I'm going to step or hop back to your high point. Good. Drop the heels to one side and over. Or if you're on the knees, bring the feet to side to side. Up to you. So heels, you want to stay a bit more lifted, feeling strong in the core. Three, two, and one. Slowly bring the knees down, coming all the way down to the floor. Good. Rotate the shoulders up and back. We're going to take a little locust, nice strengthening for, well, the whole body, but really great for the back. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up, lift the hands, lift the chest, maybe lift the feet. Feel that. And slowly exhale, coming down. Really nice one. Peel the body up. Good. Tuck the toes, arch the back, and find that lovely walking downward dog. Good. From here, inhale, we're gonna kick up that right leg, bend the knee and take a big step forward, draw the knee forward and take a really big step. You've got it. Inhale, we're gonna slowly see if we can find the balance, use the wall if you need it to find that lovely lift. Back heel lifted, we're taking runner's lunge style. Inhale, reaching it up and sinking down. Good, now see if you can tuck the tailbone under again, feeling strong here. We're gonna dip the knee and lift and dip. And lift for three, two, at your own pace. And one, inhale, we're gonna reach forward, slowly bring the hands on either side of that front foot, wiggle it back, and just stick your bum out, finding that downward dog walk in those heels. Three, inhale and exhale, two, and one, other side, inhale, kick up that left leg, bend the knee, and see if you can draw it forward, taking a really big step. Again, take any last adjustment that you need. We want the back heel lifted and slowly see if you can come up. If it feels uncomfortable, wall or chair, whatever suits you. Good, inhale, reaching up and down. And take me on the hips, holding on to something absolutely fine as well. Maybe a little dip to the knee and lift. Breathe, dip and lift. Inhale and exhale, dip and lift. Inhale, dip and lift. Beautiful, reaching forward slowly. Bring 
hands on opposite side of the foot, reaching that foot out, finding that little plank. You've got the option to dip the heels or come to the knees for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Inhale, we're going to come to the top of the toes. We're going to bend the knees, walk the hands towards the feet. You've got it folding down. Ooh, love it. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. Breathing in. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, big scoop up, reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands behind you. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. You've got it. Beautiful. We were just going to find a little bit of time and space for some balance. So if balance is not feeling good to you today, just find a wall. Grab a quick drink in between, but we're going to hold and just see if we can open up the legs and the feet just a little bit. Love. Awesome. So find a space, find a drink. And if balance is funky today, just change it up. All right. So you want your feet hip distance. And we're going to find a lovely little bit of time to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Sink slightly into the knee. Shift the weight over. Right leg is your standing leg. Left toes either in the front. You rotate the shoulders up and back. Remember, again, we talk a lot about this posture. We don't want it looking dipping. We want to inhale. Tuck under. In from the core, we get that lovely strength that will help you feel stronger and more supported in your balance. Lifting the knee. If that feels good, stay. If not, put to the floor or hold on. Maybe take the hands into the knee. Rotate the shoulders up and draw that knee in. Remember, if you fall out of it, you fall out of it. It's just about taking time to breathe and be steady. Good. Three. Drop the shoulders. Two. And one. Inhale. Switching sides a little. Bend to the knee. Shift the weight over. Good. You choose. Foot to the floor. Staying lifted. Drawing in from the core. Option to lift up or grab. Rotate the shoulders up and see if you can find a little extension. Remember, standing leg. You never want to um, overextend the knee, just so like a little micro bend in there. Inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Trying to relax, soften in the face, breathing in and breathing out. Love a little bend to the knee. Good, shift the weight over again, either foot here or lifting. And you've got the option to take it out if you like. So think about all that work on the floor, Kind of working towards the bow, tucking under in the tailbone, knees drawing out. If it feels too much, wall or foot on the floor with the knee out. Absolutely perfect. And just breathe. Three, two, and one. Relax the forehead, relax the face and the cheeks. For three, two, and one, inhale, bringing it back, switching sides, little bend over, either foot forward or lift it up to you. Good. If you've got it, find the balance, or again, use the wall, hold on to a chair, whatever you like. Inhale, rotate the shoulders back, lift in the chest, use the core as the base of your balance, and see if you can open the knee wide. And just breathe. Inhale and exhale. Relax the face. Three, two, and one. We get remember relaxing the forehead and the jaw here. Inhale, coming back. Love a little step. Good. One last chance. We're going to come forward. You can lift, hold, open. I'll give you one last chance if you want to play with it. I used the wall definitely when I first tried this. Take your two fingers that make a peace sign on the left hand and see if you can hook them onto that big toe. You can hold here, maybe take the knee out wider. If you're quite open in the hamstring and you want to play, maybe see if you can lift the foot. Thinking about our happy baby, this is a challenger, so don't feel like you need to or hold on to something. Maybe, ooh, take the extension if that's something that suits you in your body. Three, two, and one. Good. Again, a little challenger. You don't have to do it. You can play with it. Use the wall, a chair, bend the knee, 
shift the weight over. Good. See where you're at. Again, hold on if you want to play with it. Stop and start the video when you need to. Inhale, lifting. Again, take the knee wide, keep the foot on the floor, or maybe have a little play. So right peace fingers in the UK. You guys definitely use these for something else. <laughs> Grab your big toe with them. Good. This is good. See if you've got your balance or again, hold on to the wall, a chair. Nice steady breath. Taking the knee wide. Breathing in and out. And if you want, you can work a little bit here. Maybe see if the extension's there today. Three. Relax the forehead and the face. Two. Drop the shoulders back. And one. In and out. You've got a little shake out. Big wide knees for three. For two. And one. Little shake out for me. Deep breath. Inhale. Reach it up. Good, we're gonna bend down and come down onto the mat. If you need to grab your drink, grab it, have a little sit for us. And do one last little balance on the floor. And playing with that grabbing of the big toes. And then we're gonna soften into a really beautiful guided relaxation. Amazing. All right, so when you're ready, we're just going to come to an upright position. Cross leg is not comfy. Just find something that is. We're going to begin with a lovely rotation of the shoulders up and back. Three, two, and one. Lovely. We're going to bring the knees up and bring the feet in front of us. So this is perfect. Little knees wide. You can sink forward with the chest if you like and just stay here. This is a lovely little stretch. If you feel like I'm done with the kind of more intense movement, stay here. If you wanna play a little bit with balance seated, you can take your peace fingers with the left and grab that big toe. So that's a good start. Just seeing what that feels like if it's not, not something you've done before. You can use your right hand. I like to use my hand to grab onto the knee and just draw my chest forward. Good, inhale, begin happy baby seated. You can maybe lift up or maybe work to extend the leg. Sometimes it's easier than you think, but try not to collapse in the upper body. We want to lift up in the chest and maybe work to extend that leg. Again, it could be bent. It could be extended. Just relax the face. Lifting in the chest here. Three, two, and one. Bending the knee, bringing the foot down. Good. New little sensation, maybe for some of us, or it's been a while. But nice is to try in a new way. Peace fingers on the right toes. Maybe give them a little hook. You've got it. So that's all you need to do. Inhale, maybe rotate the shoulders up, lifting in the chest. Good. Want to feel almost like you're pushing the tailbone out like a cow pose as such. And then maybe lift the foot, see what that's like. You can use the hand on the knees. Maybe extend the leg if you're in the mood to play. Beautiful. Breathing in. Chest lifts, relax the face. Three, two, and once, bending the knee, bringing the foot down. Beautiful, bring the hands in between. And just allow the chin to draw in, letting the back arch. You can bring the hands in between if you like. Maybe resting them on the feet, but just a nice little moment here to just breathe and soften. And before we find those last little stretches to finish the class, we're gonna grab both big toes if you fancy. We're gonna lean back to that low little balance sweet spot. We're gonna lift in the chest and draw the shoulders back. I say this is perfect if you wanted to stay here. You wanna lift and see if you can find that little sweet spot with the knees bent. Thinking kind of a lifted happy baby. Or if you wanted to take them whoa, a little wider, a little play, see what happens. Let the heels drop out. Lift in the chest. Maybe a little smile if it's happened for you. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming back down. Good. We're going to cross the legs or bring the knees to a comfy position that suits you. Oh, good. Breathing in and breathing out through the mouth. You've got it. Breathing in, shoulders up, and exhale, shoulders down. You've got it. Big shoulder rolls for me here. Four, three, two, 
such a shame. And one. Beautiful. I'm going to sit nice and tall. I'm going to take some big circles. So if it feels uncomfortable, whatever way you're sat, um, I'll just invite you to find a chair. Otherwise, we're going to lean forward with the chest even a little bit. Move the body over towards the left and rotate back, letting the upper body almost concave in. You can feel that lovely stretch, the spine, the lower back, slowly leaning forward. I always get a little click in the hip on that side. Good, starry, starry. Rolling forward, relax the face, and rolling back. You've got it. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Nice big circle. Three, two. Last big circle here. When you get to the front, just lean forward for me and take a little bit of stillness. Good. Inhale. As we exhale, rotate the body over towards the other side and rotate back. Four. Nice slow stretches and deep breaths. Three. I tried to set them free. Two. They were not the sun. Not no. And last one. One. Leaning forward. And just holding here. Inhale. Coming back up. Good. We're going to bring the hands forward onto the knees and tuck the tailbone under. Drop the shoulders in and the neck towards the chest. Breathing in and out. Trying to let go of that stress attention across the neck. Definitely be folded in the shoulders. Don't we inhale, rotate up. Drop it back, chest lifted, leaning forward, almost like a seated cow position. That's what we're looking for. That lovely drawing back of the shoulders for three, for two, and one. Relax the forehead, breathing in, coming back to center. Relax the shoulders down. Good. I'm going to take a little time to soften into the face. So bringing your pointer finger and your middle finger in between um, the eyes, just at the top of the nose there, just begin to push in and around the eyebrow. You can feel any sort of tension that you might be holding. If you like to do it in like little circles, you can take time to breathe as you do it. Inhaling. And exhaling. Maybe bringing the hands up a little higher into the forehead. Or even drawing some circles into the temples if you haven't gotten there yet. Take those circles next. Good. And then see what feels good. Maybe moving between the eyebrows up and into the temples. You want to bring it higher. Just listen. What does your body need? Where does that feel good to you? Releasing any headaches, any worried thoughts, and then bring your two middle fingers in between the eyebrows and just push up. Switching sides. Five, four, three, Two and one, bring it down. You've got it. This time we're going to bring it to the top of the nose, but just a little lower. We're going to push into that sinus. So the sides of the nose and in and around. So much going around this year in the sinus and hay fever. If you feel that, take it. Don't be afraid to put a little pressure into that space. Definitely you felt that this year personally. So just take the hands. I like to give it a little like Almost like a little up and down movement, just feeling and releasing. Good. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. And a lovely little reminder, some circles down the jaw, releasing, maybe moving that jaw side to side. Oh, de-stress team. Let's let it go. Good. And lastly, before we find our Shavasana, invite you to just take any last bit of movement that feels good. Maybe it's like pushing into the chin. Maybe you want to move in underneath the nose. Think about giving yourself a lovely little face massage. You'll be down into the mouth. All of these things, these movements, whatever feels good, listen to your intuition, but it's all good for the body, releasing stress and tension in the face. You've got it. Inhaling nice and slow. And exhaling. Amazing. 
taking a moment just to sit in stillness here, collecting your thoughts, your feelings. How are you now? How do you feel? And what else could you release as you come into your Shavasana pose? I invite you to find your favorite relaxation on your backs, or you, if you'd like to sit upright, you want to crawl back into bed, depending on when you're using the video, lie on the sofa, your comfiest chair, whatever it is. I want you to find a space that feels really good for you to just soften and relax. Closing the eyes and being the most centered, reset feeling that you can find. Lovely. Moving into our Shavasana today, just begin to relax in the face. Again, almost imagining like stress leaving for the body, releasing like all the tension and stress that might still be lingering in the forehead and your thoughts, in any, any to-dos, just let it all dissipate. Let it melt away. Feeling the stress leaving the temples, the stress in the kind of sinus area, releasing any of that tension, even mentally, just allow everything to be left on the mat today. Breathing in with me and exhaling through the mouth. Releasing in the jaw and separating the teeth and really letting go again of anything that you're holding here. Softening into the neck, allowing the shoulders to melt into the space, drifting, relaxing, allowing the heaviness that you came maybe to the mat with to Feel like it's disappeared. And as you lay on that mat, feeling the lightest you've ever felt, I want you to imagine in this moment as if you could almost mentally lift yourself up off the mat as light as a feather, that you have the ability to float and drift, feeling as if you had a space and time to release any of that negative energy. Bringing yourself into a space where you can just be inhaling and slowly exhaling. Beautiful. And as you relax and reset today, Just remember that time out, time for you, time to breathe and de-stress really does matter. And this is a beautiful piece that I read a few weeks ago in my Tuesday class. I just love it. Something really poignant for every one of you. It is genuinely coined you by Donna Ashworth. If every single person who has liked you in your lifetime were to light up on a map, it would create the most glittering, beautiful network that you could imagine. Throw in the strangers you've been kind to, the people you've made laugh or inspired along the way, and that star bright web of you would be an impressive sight to behold. You are so much more than you even think you are. You have done so much more than you realize. You're trailing a bright pathway that you don't even know about. What a thing. What a thing indeed. Remember the magic that is you and the importance of taking care of you. That is your weekly session. Wishing you a beautiful day ahead, whatever it is that brings um, or comes into your life. Stay a little longer if you like. I'll let the music play. Peace and love always. Thanks so much for logging on.
Thank you. 